Scientists throughout the years have encountered evidence that supports the existence of evolution. One of those independent lines of evidence is species distribution. Species distribution is a manner in which one or more populations of an organism are geographically arranged. This concept is what answers the question of why are species present in some areas and absent in others? A question biogeographers have spent a lot of time researching about. Evolution is all about a species development throughout the generations in favor of their survival. This includes their ability to compete and reproduce. A big factor in evolution is where species is found because a habitat has to have everything a species needs, from proper climate, enough food and resources, and not an overwhelming amount of predators in order to survive. If one of those is missing or lacking, a species has to adapt, develop a skill, or move to another place to ensure the existence of future generations. Let me explain with an example. Take the monarch butterfly, known for their annual migrations across North America that have, call, that have been called one of the most spectacular natural phenomena in the world. They migrate from southern Canada and the United States to central Mexico, arriving in November. Then, in March, they start their journey back and arrive around July. Monarchs are the only butterflies to make such a long two-way migration, flying up to 3,000 miles in the fall to reach their winter destination. Even more interesting, at least five generations are involved in the annual cycle. But why would they do this? Well, first of all, monarchs can survive the long, cold winters of the north. By using environmental cues, they know when it is time to travel south for the winter. When in Mexico, the monarchs typically have access to streams, plenty of sunlight, which enables body temperatures that allow flight, appropriate roosting vegetation, and relative freedom from predators. In warm temperatures, monarchs also become reproductive. They breed and lay the eggs of the new generation. Okay then, but why do they return north? Well, monarchs need larval food plants that do not grow in the locations they spent their winters in. So the spring generation must fly back north to places where the plants are plentiful. Evolution has allowed the monarch's migration to become part of their beings. They only become reproductive in warm temperatures because before they get to those warm temperatures, their bodies are preparing for the difficult flight that is to come. The fat that is stored in the abdomen is a critical element of their survival for the winter, and it fuels their flight. The species evolved in such a way that even their bodies prepare them for their journey. Personally, I support this statement even more because it's not like the butterflies leave a note to their offspring saying they'll be flying soon. The evidence is in how their bodies prepare the monarchs and the fact that the migration is itself is something that they do every year, even though it's not the same butterflies doing these migrations, as a typical lifespan is about two to six weeks, with the exception of the butterflies that make the journey back north, which can live up to eight months. I hope you learned something and thank you for watching.